The universe is teeming with countless intelligent life forms. Estimated 400 billion stars in our galaxy. 400 billion galaxies in the known universe. We are not alone on this planet, never have been. I had my first UFO sighting when I was 16 years old, walking down the street in Arlington, Virginia. This is the 26th of July, 1952. And the alien vehicles put on a demonstration that the media could not ignore and the government could not cover up. It actually took me two years after seeing those seven red star-like objects wandering in random motion over Washington, D.C., 11.30 in the evening, to two years of study to accept for myself that some UFOs are vehicles controlled by more advanced intelligence. The UFOs are not a threat. They're not the enemy. The threat is from the panic of people who are not prepared for the matter. The American people are intelligent, they're thoughtful, and they're responsible. They simply deserve to be told the truth, and they have a need to be told the truth. And there essentially is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Hello, curious viewers, and welcome to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. In recent years, there has been an increase in the number of sightings reported globally of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. Today on our program, we are delighted to present the first in a three-part series featuring a highly engaging interview with an expert ufologist, Mr. Robert Oral Dean, also known as Bob Dean a retired command sergeant major in the U.S. Army. He has completed extensive studies in the fields of archaeology, theology, ancient history, psychology, philosophy, and holds the equivalent of a master's degree in emergency management. When he was in the military, Mr. Dean was trained as an intelligence analyst. After retiring from the U.S. Army in 1976, Mr. Dean worked for 14 years as an emergency services manager for the Pima County Sheriff's Emergency Services Department in Arizona, USA. He has previously served as Pima County Director for the Mutual UFO Network, is a former member of the Center for UFO Studies, and was on the board of directors of the Ancient Astronaut Society for 12 years. He has been honored with three Lifetime Achievement Awards for his contributions to the field of ufology. Today, Bob Dean continues to take part in conferences, gives media interviews, and participates in radio and television talk shows to share with global audiences his knowledge of UFOs and beings from other worlds. Our Supreme Master Television correspondent recently conducted an enlightening and eye-opening interview with Mr. Dean. Let us now hear from the wise Bob Dean. We would first like you to share with our audience, uh, when was your first uh, opening to the whole realm of UFOs? And if you could talk a little bit about your background and how you came into this whole field. I was a professional soldier for most of my life, but I didn't get exposed to this reality of the so-called extraterrestrial presence until 1963. I applied for and received an assignment in 1963 to Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers in Europe, a place called Shapes, and it was one of those choice plum assignments. And I arrived at Paris in the summer of 1963, and immediately my top secret clearance was upgraded to a level called Cosmic Top Secret, it's the highest level of security classification in NATO. And immediately, with my top secret upgrade to Cosmic, I was assigned to a place called Shock, 
the Supreme Headquarters Operations Center, which is the war room. And when I worked in the war room, I learned of a study that was underway. It involved UFOs. And the reason was that a large number of metallic, circular, disc-shaped objects flew from the Soviet Warsaw Pact sector from the east toward the west. These objects were circular, metallic, disc-shaped objects in formation, very obviously under intelligent control. And they flew across Europe, they flew across Germany, France, the southern coast of England, and they turned north over the English Channel, and they disappeared off of NATO radar over the Norwegian Sea on the morning of the 2nd of February in 1961. And it was all over when about 20 minutes. The Soviets thought those objects belonged to us. We thought they belonged to the Soviets. We were to find later that they didn't belong to anybody. And the study was initiated and immediately after that event. A top secret document entitled, The Assessment, an Evaluation of a Possible Military Threat to NATO Forces in Europe, was completed in 1964. Mr. Dean was given the opportunity to read the study. That was a spark that kind of kindled my fire in 64. I couldn't leave it, I couldn't walk away from it. I, I, the conclusion of the study was quite simple. Apparently there is no threat. Apparently the human race and the planet have been under observation and survey by several advanced extraterrestrial intelligences from the beginning of human history. That was one of the conclusions. They concluded apparently there was no threat involved because the repeated manifestation of incredibly advanced technology indicated that if they had been malevolent or hostile, it would have been over a long time ago. And that began my journey. And I haven't turned back since. Mr. Dean was highly intrigued by the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Their mysteries were slowly unfolded to him after a series of extraordinary events. Based on that study, an assessment, I was interested in them. Who are they? Where are they from? Why are they here? What, what's this all about? Why are they interested in us? I began to find out over the years that it wasn't about them at all. It's about us. It really is all about us. Who are we? What are we? How did we come to be here? Why are we here? And is there a purpose? Is there a meaning in our lives? And where are we going? What's the future? Where do we go from here? And that's where I've been for the last 20 years. And I've been speaking out openly, bluntly, candidly, loudly about this subject. Over the years, I have developed the ability, and I have been fortunate enough to have face-to-face uh, -face meetings with some of them. I have been aboard their ships. I was even taken to one of their home planets. Apparently, I've had an intimate interrelationship with non-human intelligence since I was two years old. My whole life has been involved with them to some degree. It took me many, many years before I began to become aware of my personal involvement. And it, I, it took me a long time for me to discard my old world paradigm. And I've learned there is a purpose, there is a meaning. Another important conclusion of the assessment is that the extraterrestrials visiting Earth are diverse in origin, with some even coming from neighboring galaxies. The Shape military study concluded that, that we were dealing with four different groups that had been coming and going. They were all humanoid, but they were not all human. But out of those four different groups, one group, was so to totally human, like us, 